royal barge glides across the harbour at St. Peter Port, bringing Queen Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh ashore for their visit to Guernsey, the second engagement on their Channel Islands programme. The landing is made at White Rock. Her Majesty steps ashore to be greeted by the Lieutenant Governor, Air Marshal Sir Thomas Elmhurst, and the bailiff, Sir Ambrose Sherwill. Past cheering crowd, Sir Ambrose leads the Queen along the quay for a further welcome which brings history to life. The presentation of a bouquet by young Hilary Beecher in a white organdy dress last worn for the visit of Queen Victoria. Up to the last moment, the weather threatened to mar the royal visit, but fortunately, the sun breaks through. The Queen drives to Beausséjour to meet representatives of the Agricultural and Horticultural Society, the Growers Association, the Women's Institutes and the WBS. Here again, the dresses are a colourful reminder of the island's history. Her Majesty receives another memento to add to the many the Channel Islanders have given her, a set of four Guernseys for herself, Prince Philip and their two children. After meeting some of Guernsey's older people, Her Majesty and the Duke drive to Cambridge Park to see the youngsters, the gathering of 6,500 schoolchildren of Guernsey and Herm. They too have their gifts to present, a fly fishing rod and panier for Prince Charles, and a gold chain bracelet with Guernsey charms for Princess Anne. Next morning, the royal visitors cross to Sark. Once again, Air Marshal Sir Thomas Elmhurst welcomes them, while at the top of the jetty steps waits the dame of Sark, Mrs. R. W. Hathaway. Motor vehicles are not allowed on Sark. Her Majesty doesn't wish to break with local tradition, so she and Prince Philip travel in an open Victoria drawn by a farm grey. At this leisurely pace, many islanders are able to escort the royal couple on foot as they drive to the boys' school where they're to attend a meeting of the chief please. The Queen and Duke entered the school building to receive from the Seneschal a loyal address of welcome from the Chief Please and the people of Sark. Her Majesty planned to sail from Sark to Alderney, but the weather forecast is poor and the royal programme has to be changed. So after the Queen and Duke have said goodbye to Sark, they leave Britannia at Guernsey and fly to Alderney, their last port of call. They visit the parish church of St Anne. And finally, the Queen lays the foundation stone of a new hospital to crown a memorable visit. 